uh, Dakota was 10 to 14 days, so today would be 10 days. Yesterday, you said he was you weren't going to have him for a little while still. Is he just is he progressing the way you guys had hoped, or has there been some sort of setback? Well, he's progressing. I think it's just you know we're trying to be prudent with him. Basically, you know, I think you know when you're in these type of injuries, you know, you got to be really smart about it. We rather take the the, the over cautious uh, approach with him right now. Uh, there's no rush to get him. You know, obviously, we want him in. He's a big part of the team, but I'd rather take the uh, cautious approach right now. Morning. Morning. Uh, GM's about in Florida. Yeah. Uh, one thing they decided to do, and I talked to Quinn about it. He's obviously a big fan. Leaving overtime the way it is. There was some talk about retrievals. Mm -hmm. You could only have so many retrievals. Right. You know, there'd be like a, a pitch clock in baseball. How long can you get into the O zone if there's a stick at the blue line? Is there going to be a video review? Anything to slow it down? He's a big fan of keeping it the way it is. What about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm with Quinn on that. I, I think, you know, you can only tinker so much. You know, um, I think overtime's fine. If teams regroup, they regroup. I don't know if you can throw rules and, you know, shot clocks and all that. I think we're getting crazy if we do all that stuff. Quinn said the big thing is we don't play to get the shootout. We play to win. So regroups are part of the process. It's not like some teams delay. They want to get to a shootout. They got they got some pretty good snipers, but he said no, we don't play that way. Agree? Yeah, I, I think with the regroups, you know, when you're in a three on three situation, when guys don't like what they see, you got that. You know, they want to pull it out. I don't blame them because you know you don't want to force a play. If you see most of the goals in overtime, it's usually a, a missed shot, breakaway. It's a two on one, three on one. So I think a lot of teams, if you if you originally see the when overtime started, you never saw that much. Now the coaches are. They're strategizing. You know, they don't want you to lose the puck. It's more possession. Um, so that's kind of why people now want, well, it's, they're starting to slow the game. I, don't, I just think it's strategy-wise. Another thing that came out is that you're probably going to be able to challenge a high stick, whether it's somebody else, you know, to yeah. clarify. Was it a teammate stick, like, like the severity of it? Because sometimes we see the high stick and it's a double minor when it's not even yeah. – a minor per se. You like that? Have a challenge? I just like when I. Well, I don't think you can do it. But if a guy snaps his head and you don't, he doesn't doesn't touch his face, he should get a penalty. I'm, I've been. I've. I've. I think it was about three, four weeks. We had a couple of get, um, penalties against where it didn't hit the guy's face, and we got a penalty. That's what I think like re reviewable. That's the stuff that bothers me. I, I, why not penalize a guy that acts? I mean, don't in soccer don't they give him a red if you fake it or something? Don't they give you a red card or something? Soccer guys, soccer. no. Yellow card or something. Maybe we have a yellow card if you, you fake something. Um, the Sabres gave up a very good def uh, center in middle stat to get <clears throat> Owen Byram. Yeah. And now with Power and Byram yeah. and Deline on the back end, they only have three really good young defensemen. Who Samuelson, are, too, is a good player. Yeah, yeah. who activate. What, what kind of problems? Uh, Quinn talked about it this morning, too, that you know they get activated, too. What did you see in last night's game in Seattle? And what do you have to watch for tonight with that group? Really mobile. Like, you know, they're side to side, their lateral movement. Obviously, their, their puck skills, <clears throat> their skating ability, but it, <clears throat> even defending, I saw the l unreal lateral movement from that group, you know, uh, where they can, they can catch a wide guy, you know, defend and get up in the play. You know, they're, they're very mobile. Um, you know, they've they're probably got the young, one of the best young defense corps in the league. Uh, they're going to be together for a bunch of years. Impressive. Yeah, Rick, the power play has struggled at the time this, this year, uh, especially since the All-Star break here. Another chance to get things going uh, against Buffalo <coughs> tonight. How important is it to get that group going uh, as you get, get closer to the playoffs here? Yeah, it's big. <clears throat> you know, it's a mindset. I know we, we only had one. Obviously, we got to get more power plays. <clears throat> we haven't been getting a lot of power plays. So we're trying to – guys can't get in a rhythm. That's number one. That's not an excuse. But even last night or last game, there was three or four great looks – and uh, all you can ask for is great looks. Now you got to you got to deliver, right? <clears throat> you got a one timer, you know, the, with the goalie kind of out of the net. We don't execute. We had somebody going downhill with a shot. We don't like the looks are there. We just got to start to score. You know, we got to hit the net. Has there been any specific point of emphasis over the last couple of weeks for the power play? Yeah. Well, to me, uh, details, work ethic, sprinting to areas. You know, if you're in a corner, like. Um, don't be afraid, you know, within the rules, interfere with the guy. L the little things in power plays matter. Everybody wants plays. This guy goes there or there. I get that. But the best power plays do the little things right. You know, whether it's, you know, you beat pressure, it's on. It's three. It's downhill, three people versus there two. You make execute the play. There's there's too much emphasis around here on plays and all this stuff. And you, you, plays don't, 
you know, you look at some of the best powers, Colorado, they got two or three plays. They don't have many plays. It's either it's down to McKinnon to Nakushkin in front, whether it's a one-timer to uh, um, McKinnon or, or uh, McCarthy. They don't have a lot. Of, they have options, but they, they, it's, they have the concept, but then they execute, and that's really what we have to get to. Similarly, on the PK, how, how do you feel about the state of your penalty killing right now? <clears throat> well, I think the – you know, we've, we've, you know, the Minnesota the five on threes, four on three, five on three against Colorado. I, I, I think four, four and five, we've been okay. I, I mean, I, honestly, it hasn't been that bad. I think with the optics of it because of the, you know, the five on three, four. You know, you got to kill some of those, don't get me wrong. But um, I think I, I, it's been okay all year. I mean, we've had some good stretches, and then it'll be a week where we, we get a bunch of those, you know, anomaly ones. So, I, you know, can we be better? Of course. Don't don't take those penalties, as you always say. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. It, it, when you're penalty killing, how much is is it do reacting to what they're doing, or how much is it setting the tone, <clears throat> saying this is what we do, and you got to beat us? Well, if you go from October till now, if our I know, we, we this is probably the poorest thing of our PK, our clears. We're we're a bottom t- one of the bottom teams of clearing the puck. If we can even just be midway pack in the, in the like, if you figure we can get one of those down every game, and you take the percentages, I think your percentage is going to go up. I, I think our clears have been really bad this year, to be quite to be going honest with you. Again, that's something we got to work on. The guy has it on their stick. It's got to go 200 feet. And if the guy knocks it down, it better hurt. You better break his hand. or I, I'm, You can't just flip. You, can, you, you, you got to rip him down. You know, that's the, the biggest thing that if I have to pick, like the rest of the power play, I think they've been good. But the clears have been really bad, I think, all year. Got to get better at it. Obviously, working on some things in practice. Sure. Um, what are some of the things you'd like to see from your team tonight that you've been working on? Well, offensively, inside play. You know, like if you're you're going to the net. You know, we we, play, we try to do a level offense. Levels doesn't always have to be the same guy, but uh, if you get there, you got to stay there. We're getting kind of pushed. We're, we're we're trying a lot of high plays where you're having two or three guys leak from the net, and then if you look at you know if you have the above camera, you have four guys on the outside. It's easy to defend that way. So. If you play inside and you have some switches, who goes in that or whatever, that's the decision making for the defensive team. Who's got who? But if everybody's on the outside, it's easy. I got this guy, I got him. But if somebody comes downhill and this guy leaves, it's like, which guy do I take? That's what you want to the, the, the indecisions. Well, that's what happens with our, de- with our defensive coverage is the players will ask you, who, hey, if they do this, what do, what do you do here? That's the same thing we should be putting in their, in their heads, the defensive uh, guys on their, their side. You're talking about Colorado's power play and basically the KISS rule coming in effect. Pretty simple the concept, is, right? One. Colorado's yeah. power yeah. play is obviously something you want to see from your power play, keeping it <clears throat> simple. What are maybe two or three options that you would like to see with your unit? Well, I think whoever's got the puck down low, you know, if you, if you, beat, the, if you beat pressure up top, it goes low. I think you just got to you, you outnumber the team and make the play to the net. Like, that's what... I mean, McKinnon, when you see him down low, then we, we watch their power play as penalty killers. And if we, we over-pursue McCarr and it goes down to him, he's turning, he's either got a backdoor play, he's going to shoot it, he's got Nakushkin going down. It, it, there's no other place. If it's, it's conversely the same thing. If, they're, if we converge low on him, it's going to McCarr. And McCarr's either going to rip it or he's going to ran it. There's, there's, there's only a few plays after the concept. Um, when teams look at five, well, if this guy does this, that, you get out there, and what happens? You play slow, and you don't look like you're playing fast. Follow up on Kuz's question. Obviously, the, the sell jobs you're not a fan of. You'd like to see that review. Is there yeah. any other rules that you would like to see at least discussed? Yeah, even the video uh, for the. Goal, I think there's been a bunch of uh, three or four goals here where it hits the net, and the plays being tuned. The teams have scored a goal. I think that's got to, you know, I think more of a. You know, we got to go to like, maybe get better cameras or something because there's been some goals. I think it happened to us too, once, where I couldn't review it because we didn't have the camera angle in time. And I don't know, maybe it cost us. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It was a while ago. Was it Sports Day? No, no, I'm not blaming anybody. I agree with that. It drives me nuts. I I agree with that, and I hate the sticks over the boards too because um, that's those two things. I agree. You, there's no reason to have your leg over the boards. I agree with that. It's, 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 I think it's implemented tonight. So if uh, it's a it's a it's a warning and then it's a penalty. So if my foot's over the. They're gonna. Yeah. 
but they'll give you a warning, the bench, and then the next, right? Is that, you guys hear about that? It's, it's in tonight, yeah. It's delay game. So you get one warning, so. Yeah, when you when you lose confidence, you play slower. Now all of a sudden, I get it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm indecisive. Then I kind of hold it. Where if you get it and you know, hey man, I'm going to play aggressive, you just play aggressive. And whatever happens, happens. That's the way I look at it. So it's listen. These guys have been here before. It's a good power play. They've had a history of a good power play. Just now, we got to make sure the mindset. We just got to change our mindset a little bit. <laughs> Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.